Hey everybody, it's your girl Taisha or Taisha Undefined. If this is your first time watching, I ask that you go ahead and hit the subscribe and bell notification so you don't miss a single video that I post. So I'm coming to y'all today with my first ever try on haul. It's from the website Shein or Shein, however you want to pronounce it. But I purchased all these clothes with my own money, of course, last month, but I didn't open the package until um, I did this try on haul because I did want to save the actual opening and unboxing for a YouTube video. So I got, all together I got 16 items for $173, which is really good. Um, the price was actually higher, but I bought them like Valentine's Day week and they had an, a deal where if you spend more than $189, you get $35 off your total. So that's what I did. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All the pants that I bought. I bought three pairs of pants out of the total of 16 items. And I'm starting off with them because they're basically, I don't want to say that I like them the least. Yeah, I will say that. Actually, the pants I like the least because some of them are just, they just, how can I say this? They didn't really fit how I expected or how I thought, so, um, but I really loved everything else, so I'm just going to start with them. And they were also the first things that I tried on. And I will put the link to every item in the description box. So first, I'm going to show you all these paper bag trouser pants. And... They're in a size extra small. Some of the uh, items don't have the, so I'm not gonna say the size for each one. But here they are, this is how they look. They have this little detailing up here in these belt boots and this zipper on the side. I actually, these, I do like these a lot. Um, the only thing what I will say about these, um, you gotta be mindful of what kind of pants you're wearing. I was thinking of wearing like a thong. Next item that I got were these self-tied solid pants from Sirac Kit. I wrote the, um, what the item was called on the website on the back so I could have it for y'all. So this is how they look. Now this material is so comfortable. I don't know how to describe it. The best way I can describe it would be like, it's a thick sweatpant type of material. When I, I'm seeing them online, from the picture online, they look like they were gonna be like this slack type, like a slack type material. But look, they even kind of look like sweatpants, but they fit like a thick sweatpant material, almost like joggers. But, so here's how they look. And they came with this belt. Super duper cute. And they have these pockets on the side. Which is the only thing I didn't like about the paper bag pants. Was that they didn't have pockets. That's the only thing I didn't like about those. But I really like this material. Oh yeah, the only thing that I do want to say about these. Were they fit like high waters. I just wish they were like two or three inches longer because they fit like a longer free pant so next i have these jeans you know let me tell y'all something about Shein. i believe it's like an international website so a lot of the products actually have a lot of reviews and one thing that i always do look for anything where shopping for a new wig hair whatever i look at the reviews and everybody on the reviews for this pair of pants were saying how they were super big on them and how they had to get them altered. Now look, let me tell y'all. I am 5'3 and I weigh 106 and I got these pants in a small. Y'all, look at this. I, I understand I'm sitting down so you can't really see, but these pants give me every bit of... Um, that 70 shell bell bottom realness, like they fit on me so awkward. And they have this thing where you can um, self tie like into a bow on the side. 
just a belt included in it. But yeah, these pants, I feel like once I put them in a washing machine enough times, they will straight. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm not going to return them or nothing. And these were the highest. These were the highest priced item. <laughs> these were the highest priced item that I bought. They were only $25. So that's really good. We'll get into the tops. I really love every single one of these tops that I've bought. And uh, for these, I just put on a pair of my H&M jeans, which I love H&M jeans. So, yeah, those, that, if you want to know, or if you care, the jeans that I have on for all these tops came from H&M. This first top that I have is this twisted front crop top. I think it is a crop top. And it is in the size small. But this thing is just so cute y'all i think it looks so good with the skinny jeans that i had on i was just thinking yeah this will only work i think work pretty good with some high waist skinny jeans and i would i'm just picturing in my mind different ways i could dress it up maybe like a blazer or a jean jacket i picture a cute little purse a little throw over over the shoulder bag and yeah I don't really wear sneakers like that but maybe some flat so I got this super cute little baby doll turtleneck crop top and this um I got it in this super pretty soft pink color which it just fits amazing on me it is kind of like super short, like kind of like a midriff, I think you would say. And the, um, up here, I will say the turtleneck cloth part was kind of like awkward. It was kind of loose. And I'm used to turtlenecks just putting like tight. Like, I didn't want it to be choking me, but it did look kind of awkward, which you will see in like the clip of me trying it on. But I feel like it was super cute. Um, I went and I had put the, some little necklaces that I got. I'm so dumb. The necklaces that I got on over it, and I just feel like that. I just love it's cute. I love the necklaces that I put on with it. I think it just added like a perfect, cute little feminine touch, which just fit this perfectly. And I kept those blue jeans on, but I do have a pair of high waisted white pants, which I feel would look so much better with this. But I was lazy and didn't want to change, didn't want to put them on. But yes, that's probably what I will wear, some white skinny jeans. I really just cut off in the middle of me talking. Uh, so anyways, the next top that I got at this, <laughs> sorry, is this black wrap top. This is cropped. And y'all, in the try on video, you will see me like trying to like tie it while looking at the camera. I didn't have like no mirror in front of me. And just looked at how I messed, but I did go back and look in my bathroom mirror and come back out to wrap it up. But yes, this thing is so cute. Now I was a little confused because on the website, the material of the shirt made it seem like it was going to be like a, a little soft, kind of like satin, like this type silky type texture, but it's not. If you see, I got my ring light on and I'm sitting in front of the natural light. It's kind of giving you like apron smock type realness, okay? But, nevertheless, the shirt is really cute. It opens like this. And it has these little tie things. That's like super apron looking, but this shirt is actually really nice. And it's comfortable. You're definitely going to need like a black bra. Or you could even go braless. Which is what I do always because I don't have any boobs. So, I can get away with that. And what's up? It's just a size small. Okay, so the next item I have is this little cutout tulip hem, um, like a burnt, excuse me, burnt orange top, which is so cute. Here's how it looks. So what I wore, I just put this on with those little jeans, and I had, I believe I have the necklaces still on in this video. I meant when I tried this on. But, um, yeah, I will wear this with some high waist jeans again. Maybe like a, hmm. 
I really don't know how to style things, y'all. I don't know how to wear it. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. I'm watching other people try on hogs, but what do y'all think? A leather jacket or something with this? Or just keep it simple with um, some high waist jeans? Yes, I can see this for like a high waist jean. Maybe some black skinny jeans. A cute little gold watch. I love a gold watch, y'all. Uh, a rosewell watch in silver. Oh, but yes, this is how the little hemming looks on the inside. I think that's what makes this shirt really cute. So the next top I absolutely love this shirt so much. It's this black mesh, little mesh insert top. Let me fix it for y'all. The material on this is so nice, y'all. It has some material what I was talking about that I thought the wrap shirt would have, but it doesn't. But look at that. This fits on so cute and it's so cute with like some gold necklacing. I get some money, I'm going to invest me in a good camera. But right now, your girl's broke and she's in college. So she has to record on her phone. But look, I got an Android and I believe like my video quality is really nice. Okay? It don't take that good pictures, but the videos are really nice. Okay? Anyways, like I was saying, this top, y'all, is just so super cute the only thing is you're gonna have to make sure you find like a really good bra i can't tell you to go bras on this because i feel like a nice bra really hits this you'll see i had on a black bra with it but you can see the strap so you just have to get some type of new or like strapless thing i don't know maybe those little sneaky bomb <laughs> get you a sneaky bomb if you want to wear this the last shirt i have is this um it's not really spring, it's more so fall, but whatever. It's the off the shoulder, this little plaid top. Yeah, um, I was so confused on how to wear this. On the website, it just looked like pretty simple, but really it's like a two-in-one shirt. So let me show you all you see the white little beater is actually attached to the plaid thing. So the way it fits like off the shoulder is that the white tank top has these buttons on them. And so it connects to this. And so it like hangs off the shoulder like that. It's so confusing. You will see in the clip where I'm trying it on. I'm pretty much slow on the upkeep, on the uptake. Make sure it didn't look like the white part the beater was showing. I don't know. We'll figure it out. If you think you know how to go, please leave a comment down in the comment section so I can know. If you have the shirt, let me know. Okay. So next, y'all, I got these skirts. I absolutely love each and every one of these skirts so much. And they were so cute, so cute and good quality. Okay, so the first one I got is this zip back corduroy skirt. And I have it in the size, what? Oh, it's in an extra small. That's why it fits so good. Ugh. So this is how it looks. So I thought this was going to fit like so wide and like heavy on me. But I forgot that I have been eating pretty good and I gained weight and I was kind of bloated. So it fits on me like so snug. If you see in the clip, it looks like I'm like shaking and moving about. But... I'm trying to show y'all how it's like tight, but I actually have room to move my legs in it. It fits so amazing. Oh, the only thing with, again, what I want to say about these skirts, I don't have any body suits, y'all. Like, I've been broke for real. But, um, that's the only thing it is. But these skirts, I need a body suit for like each and every one to like really set it off. And I did see this little cute off the shoulder little ruffle hem bodysuit on the Shein website, which I would love to get with that. Maybe like a white one or ivory color. I think it would be so cute with this. For the uh, for the triangle clip, I just put on like a simple little white shirt to show it. But I actually bought the same skirt in this mustard yellow color. Yes. So again, probably a bodysuit with that. And some cute little flats or some thick chunky sandal heels and all. Okay, so this next skirt that I got is this little tweed, super cute, 
super festive amazing beautiful skirt look at these colors y'all look at these buttons on them oh my god i feel like the tweed kind of makes you think about fall but these colors though and these pretty little gold buttons on them just gives you very much spring aliveness and realness oh my gosh i pat i paired it with the little mesh um what do you call it the little mesh black top that i tried on and i think that no duh. no i paired it with that black wrap top and i did think that it looks really good but i really just see this with like a long sleeve black turtleneck even though i live where i where I go to school at is kind of, it's pretty hot. It gets pretty hot. So maybe a short sleeve, um, like a turtleneck, black crop top or something. But I don't know, what y'all think? What do y'all think will look best with this? Should I do a black little crop, not crop top, but a black bodysuit or what? Help me guys. Help you dad again, whatever. I was saying though, I've seen it has this little purple stitching in it, so I think I may even do like a purple bodysuit and pull that out. What y'all think? Black bodysuit or pull out? One of the one of the colors, prefer preferably preferably either purple or maybe like a dark emerald green. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And last but not least, this little, I'm giving y'all so much friend fun, okay, with these outfits. Next, I have this little suspender, um, skirt, dress, whatever you call these things. It has this zipper, zipper in the back. In the uh, try-on haul, you see me, just when I just, um, in the try-on haul, you see me, like, obsessing and fawning over this skirt. When I just pulled it up before I even put the suspenders on over it, it just looks so cute with just like with just the skirt. But I feel like with the suspenders, it just really like top it off the outfit. This is the one that I actually wore with the little mesh insert black top that you see. And I actually feel like that will look super cute with it. But I also feel like uh, a black turtleneck bodysuit would really just set this outfit off. off set this outfit off and I was thinking some little cute sheer black tights and then some black tight ankle sock booties I feel like that would look super cute it's really 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 fall and I know it's like March and spring right now but who cares um I won't tell nobody if you don't so that also the thing about that I think um if I'm gonna wear that outfit I would have to wear it like super quick I forgot to say this too i think the little mesh insert black top did look really good with this but won't that mesh shirt look so cute with those little leather pants some like black leather pants what you think what y'all think keep it with this or wear that mesh top with some black leather pants you know some cute if i get the leather pants i need to find some that are stretchy and comfortable okay if y'all know the websites where I can find some of that, please let me know again in the comments. Or if you just like the mesh, the mesh shirt with this, let me know. Or if you, or do you think it will look super cute with a black turtleneck? Let me know. So now, last but not least, we got my dresses. So the first thing I got. Well, this dress is how I know I've really been eating pretty good. And also, I'm, like, super bloated. I take, I get super bloated. I take probiotics to help with, like, digestive health as well. But whatever. And I don't work out. But I really play myself by getting this, um, getting this little dress in a extra small. Okay, so let me start by saying, again, the pictures on the website can be, like, misleading. Because, uh... And the picture, I thought it was going to be like that little light, flowing, airy, sundress type material, this dress. But it's absolutely not. This is this one shoulder, ruffle, little short, mini, mini dress. I thought this would be something really cute I could wear for like church, like Easter. But no, baby. No, baby. 
this thing right here, you might go up. This is a good little brunch dress with some heels. The little turn up brunch spot, okay? That's what this is. It It is very curve hugging and very tight and it's also really short. Because it was so short and so tight, but yeah, it's still cute. I just won't wash it that often, so I won't shrink too bad. I won't wear it that often, really. y'all. Okay, so this next dress is just so grown woman. This dress makes me wish I had a man, y'all. This makes me wish I had a man to just go out and look good for her. We go on a date, so I can wear this dress. Okay, so this is this the deep plunging hanging midi dress is what it's called, I believe. So if you see, this is where the plunge is right here, but it has these like wires stick or sticking out, sticking out, but it's on the inside of the dress. But when I tell you, like you don't feel the wires, like an uncomfortable bra, it fits so good. And I have like no boobs, as you guys can see, but it actually gave me like subtle, like a small little piece of push up and just a tiny bit of cleavage. But again, like I said, I have no boob, so there was not much cleavage to be shown. I didn't have much area to have cleavage, whatever. But this is the skirt. It is midi length, but it is so nice. It is so curve hugging, y'all. So I did show y'all first how we look. It comes with these little tank straps, but I showed y'all first how it looks without the strap. Which I actually kind of like it better. Because I believe that's how it was. Um, where I seen on the picture of the website. On the website of the dress. But I also showed y'all how it look with the straps. But y'all. Just imagine like wearing this with your hair up. And like a high. Like a top knot bun. And like some cute jangling, dangling jewelry. Going through like the little plunge right there. So sexy. So feminine. <sighs> Makes me wish I had a man, y'all. And last but not least, I have this super cute <sighs> toilet pin little gallop dress. I'm so down. So I saved this dress for last because I'm actually going to be wearing it this weekend. Right now it is March 14th, Pi Day, okay? <laughs> So, you know, this upcoming weekend will be St. Patrick's. And if you live in Georgia, or maybe other states as well, you've heard about St. Patrick's Parade down in Savannah. And I will be partaking in the activities this year, this weekend. I will be there. And I figure this dress will be absolutely perfect for it. Just look at this. I got it inside out. all, oh, y'all. What's that? Awesome. But it is in the size extra small. And I just feel like it'll be so cute for St. Patrick's. I got this new wig, y'all. Can you believe this wig was only $20? If you want info about it, please let me know in a comment and I'll got y'all. But yes, follow me on social media so you'll see me wearing this on Instagram this weekend. Make sure I give me some good pics for y'all. And depending on how long it takes me to get this video edited and uploaded, I may just attach the picture into the video. Yes, y'all, that is it. That's everything that I bought. If you liked and enjoyed this video, actually go ahead and hit the like button, comment, let me know which one's your favorite, any advice, any tips. What you think the best way for me to style these items? Because, you know, like I said, I'm redesigning my wardrobe or getting me a wardrobe together. That's why I really didn't have a lot of stuff to, like, pair and match some of these items with. So, please let me know down in the comment section how you think I should style some of these items. What you think will look best, what goes, what doesn't. Because I love to hear from y'all. And, again, if you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe because I have more try-ons try on hauls coming to y'all i'm planning on doing a shoe try on haul from go jane and another try on haul from shein they had a lot of cute like blazers and outerwears that uh jean jackets and leather jackets what i really 
feel like it's essential to a wardrobe to really like styling the items and purses as well. I plan on doing a try on haul for that. And of course, I've never purchased from Fashion Nova, so I have that one coming too. Let me know some more other websites that y'all think I should try out. There are petite, skinny girl friendly, okay? So again, like I said, I'm 5'3 and I'm 106, so. Okay, subscribe and also subscribe to my main channel, A Bear Soul, where I give like weekly weekly tips where I give advice, life tips, relationship advice, whatever advice you may need. And you can contact me directly at my um, email address what I put in the description box. And also visit my website, abearsoul.com as well. Follow me on my social medias. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in my next video.